were used to waiting on the green man. But in one Australian city, he no longer wears the pants. The city of Melbourne has made headlines around the world after giving some of its pedestrian lights a makeover, swapping trousers for dresses in an effort to even out the crosswalk gender gap. There is unconscious bias built into our brains because we're accustomed to seeing a male figure. We can take some pride in Melbourne being called the world's most livable city. Why don't we also strive to be one of the world's most equal cities? But some of Melbourne's men wonder if it's all necessary. Uh, what's the point of that? Women wear pants too. Like you don't go, oh, it's a male or a female. It's just, it's a light. Who cares? As long as they flash green or red, I think we all know what's going on then. Of course, the lights still get people from one side of the road to the other. But Melbourne's Lord Mayor, a man, isn't convinced. I'm not sure that my daughters are going to feel more empowered as young women because the city of Melbourne's walk, don't walk signs are men rather than women. The lights will remain in place for at least one year, but they might just signal a change in pedestrian perceptions. represent women in politics.